All right, greetings and salutations. My name is Comic Fire, and welcome back for more Dragon Quest IX. In the last episode, we got to the Kingdom of Gleba. In this episode, we're going to be going through the Plum Depths because somebody got captured, and now we have to save them, even though they're a jerk face, and I hate them. Yeah, it's the technical right thing to do, but. Ugh. Do we get anywhere by being good people in life? I mean, truly. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm not like that. Uh, I just think if someone's a dingle, maybe. Well, no, she had a good reason. Anyway. Ooh, we got a file of Sage's Elixir. Ooh, we got two files of Sage's Elixir. A manguini. Well, that was simple enough. All right. And what do we have over here? A mini metal. Not bad. Nothing... Amazing, but, uh... It'll do. No, come on. Okay, thank God. Too big. It looks like Ridley was too big for Smash after all. Ooh, a magic shield. It's not what I wanted to do. I wonder if I can equip that on anyone. Comic, how do you feel? Ooh... Increases magical might and mending. On you go. For you are both of those things, comic. Even though crackle really isn't the best skill you can use. I'd help you, but I must vandalize your property first. Hey, honey. I wouldn't be surprised. You're the only thing you, you really ever take care of. Oh, you can talk. Oh, I've seen enough hentai to know where this is going. Uh, that's a word for it. Not several words for it, actually. None of them which are accurate. And I'm sure we have a mirror around here, right? Boy, how, do, how would you feel if your pets just wish they could turn into a human so they could just take you to the bone zone? The Grand Lizier. Now, I don't have a song to overlay with this, unless I can think of something during editing. Uh, well, Dragon Slash sounds like a great idea. I'll go with Multi Thrust. Uh, but we still don't really have anything good for Dustfield to do besides attack and heal. And you will go with Psych Up as is your want. Oh dear. I mean, I guess that's not the worst thing in the world. Holy crap, nice! Uh, let's do that again. Also going with Psych Up, because Hard Claw is going to be insane. Alright, Dustville, time for you to get your healing boots on. <laughs> well, really, we're not in too much danger, so I'm just going to get a comic doing some mid-healing going on. Caduceus on Steam. You will psych up once more. Kind 
Come on back, buddy. Boy, I have never seen that work that well. At least Dustfell still got his turn. So, Comet, come on back, and let's just get you going with a hard claw. <gasps> oh, that's end game to your damage. You ain't shit, Grand Lizier. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm gonna get uh, Egon's going on Val then. She'll just attack for now. Because even at 5, I think a uh, multi-throw should still be more than enough to probably end the fight here and now. Dear god. Oh, I forgot. She was egged on. Whoops. Oh well. Uh, Deuceus on yourself, and just go for a hard claw. This fight shouldn't last too much longer. Oh. Maybe I should have went with Val like I originally planned. Or not. Like I said, multi thrust was enough to finish it. And what do you got? We get a dragon scale. Not sure if that's an alchemy ingredient or not. I mean, if you eat enough, like, spicy peppers. Alright, Drac, like, just <laughs> calm your uh, hormones down and we can work this out. I'm just gonna kill him, I'm just gonna knock the fruit out of him. Don't make me feel feel. She was mean to me. How can you smell that? Do we smell different? Did we forget to put on our old spice brand deodorante? Get Squeaky back. Boy, that's like our fifth fig, isn't it? Outright listen to someone. Well, at least you learned. That's more than I probably should have hoped for. Wait, can I pet Drac? Drac, can I? I'll settle for that. There we go. Looks like we're all good in Gleba for now. Uh, I didn't do the Paladin quest off screen like I said I was going to do, but I don't have any use for a Paladin right now, so I'm just not going to bother. 
It's still something I need to do off screen, like the armamentalist quests. Oh, come on, why are you doing this? <laughs> well, I shut down everything, pretty much everything on my computer so those frame rate drops wouldn't happen, but I think my computer's just finally starting to show its age. It is almost three years old at this point. And uh, from my experience with laptops, I've never had a laptop even last that long. Which seems like that means I might treat my laptops like shit, but I really don't. Either way. Please let me in. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure where I'm supposed to go next. Like I said, I shut down everything. My guide is no longer right next to me either. Who shocked a pusses? I don't think we really have anything that uh, can hit an entire uh, squad of enemies. As it stands, I kind of wish I healed up Val. What? Well, it's going to be a bitch and a half to edit, but it's what I have to do. I mean, why am I even doing this? Oh, come on. I don't like dealing with random encounters in this game. That's why I'm kind of scared of playing Dragon Quest VII 3D. Because when I can see an enemy... Like, well, you can't see them on the ocean here, but... I don't know, when I can see an enemy, I just don't want to play the game. Basically, I just want to avoid every enemy because I know that I can. And that doesn't really fly on... The open sea with random encounters. Another issue here is I can't really see where I'm going. Okay. Had to end up opening up Chrome, so I hope that doesn't kill the uh, frame rate again, but as we have seen, it didn't appear to matter either way. Something about palette swaps that are like black and red seem immensely more threatening than any other kind of palette swap. This part of the game, like, I've said before, every part, like every game that you love, like even your favorite game, has that one part you don't like to play, and some parts you always dread it. In some games at the least. Like, I love Pokemon Golds, but when I have to go through the rocket hideout in Mahogany Town, I want to die. Oh, shit. Um, I'm gonna say this is probably my least favorite part of Dragon Quest IX story. That I remember, at least. Mostly because it's the part I remember the least about. The last time I played this game was... It's probably like four and a half years ago. And... I thought I dreamed this part of the game when I remembered it later. Or I thought maybe it was t part of Tales of Exilia, because I remember some town was kind of like this. Or the town of Batsureg. Or however you pronounce that. I believe this is a Norse reference, but I could not tell you for sure. Or, uh, not Norse, like, uh... Mongolian, maybe? See, now I feel like an ass for not knowing for sure. But Khan. What place has Khans? Well, hey, at least we're well received here before we... Uh, ooh, four gold coins. And a moon wart bulb. Well, 
Well, that's not good. But he's clearly important because he's made out of polygons. And as we all know, every important NPC in this game has polygons instead of pixels. Like you. You are not important. Yurt. God, I'm really blanking here, viewers. Can you help me out? <laughs> Hello there, foxy lady. Alright. I don't like you. Surround set roll. That's suspicious. Plus your polygons. I don't be a mean to the kid, his mom's dead. Oh damn, we're gonna help a kid out in his hunting party. I'm assuming we're helping him out. Oh sweet, the hunting party's here! Just sleep in a nice comfy bed and it'll all go away. I once thought if you uh, were killed in like when you were actually sleeping, you would wake up just fine. Of course I was a child at that point. Eh, sure, why not? How hard could it possibly be? Oh, it's just one of you guys. Oh, what now? You're ballsy. Oh, no, never mind. I guess we're gonna lead Batsureg now. Oh, hey, maybe she's a Celestrian then. That'd be nice to see. We've been without pals for so long. As we can clearly see. Well, hey, at least you're okay that apparently... You're handling your uh, apparent paralysis very well, considering your spine is gone. You idiot, you just got another chance. I don't feel like this is how you're supposed to do it. Like, you don't teach a kid to swim by throwing him in the 12-foot side of the pool. Eh, it's fine. I've seen worse. I just thought you said you had nothing- oh, okay. Boy, I thought you were just about to say, we'll give you the fruit, and like, you just said you didn't have it. Am I to assume that you are telling me a fib? But no. No, it appears they are not. What do you have to say? Oh, maybe he just needs a little, uh, little lovin'. Um, I was told the yurts to the north had this man. I feel you, Granny. You can't trust 
pretty women. Yeah. Or did he say it was to the... Are there yurts even further north? Let me go... Let me go recheck with that. I didn't listen very well. Okay, yeah. I mean, hey, I mean... I don't personally know what it would be like to not have a mom. I only have a mom. So, I imagine that'd be pretty tough on a kid. Oh, that's not to say my dad's dead. He's just, uh... They're not together. And it was under fine circumstances. Like, he's... I was just raised by my mother. So I don't need... You know, there's no need for, like, Oh, I'm so sorry. It's cool. I had a perfectly fine childhood. The Hunter's Yurts. Both of them. Hey, we were told to help! Boy, balls to the wall saying that kind of crap with those kind of hunters around. Oh well. Now that your leader kind of owes us his life, I'm just going to steal that wing. Maybe he has a secret. Maybe the beast is actually okay, and we've judged it too quickly. Howdy, Palio. Yep. I mean, it kind of looked like it. What do you mean by that? You're not gonna tell us, are you? Maybe if we held a knife to their throats, we would get what we wanted. Or probably not, we might get tried for, uh... Yeah, they don't look like they have a court. Anyway, I'm gonna end the episode here. I'll see you guys next time.